What's up, Big Bear Nation? Welcome back to the homestead. Mama, what you got? So I'm out here today in the kitchen garden. It's a beautiful, partly cloudy day, so the sun's not beaming down on me. So I wanted to get in here into the kitchen garden and kind of clean out all of the stuff from the winter, get it all fertilized with some new compost and all of that good stuff, kind of give it a little bit more, breathe a little bit more life into it. But I ran into a problem. Um, over the winter, maybe even over the winter before, we had pesky squirrels that came in and planted some pecans and then apparently forgot where they put them. So now they're full-fledged like saplings where they've grown up and they're like little mini trees. And my first inclination is to take my hori hori and just cut them down. But then I started thinking about it. Up in the big pasture, the big front garden up here, we cut down a lot of pecan trees and we really like pecans so i thought maybe it would be a good idea to go ahead and get these out transplant them kind of give them a little love and then figure out where we do want them and get them planted there Well, of course, as soon as I say something about it being a beautiful overcast day, the sun decided to get out from behind the clouds and make a liar out of me. I'm gonna tell you, I thought that this was gonna be super simple to just kind of dig up these saplings and get them transplanted. And it was a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. They were a lot deeper than I thought they were. Um, one of the beds that we had, it wasn't very wide, so it was hard to get a shovel in there. So we had to get in there with a hori hori and kind of dig and keep digging till we finally got that. And even at that point, not sure that we got the full root, but there was plenty of hair-like roots coming off of the sides because it had grown so deep. So hopefully we'll be able to get some roots to start from that. In all these other beds, one bed, there was still chicken wire down on the bottom of one of the beds that we had made. So we had to go in, cut the wire out, dig that out, and I kind of got it loose and Jason came in and popped it right up. <laughs> so that was probably the easiest one that we had, minus having to cut the wire. And then the ones over here in the wooden bed that we had, there was one that was kind of small, so we were able to get the full root on that one, but the other ones kind of broke off, just like all the other ones we tried to get up. So. Now we're going to get them, put them in a bucket. I filled the bucket with water and I got one that's kind of translucent. It's not completely see-through, but it's not white either. So the sun's able to get through it a little bit. We put the saplings down in the water and hopefully those roots will start to grow and we'll keep an eye on those. And hopefully soon we'll be able to transplant them into some soil let them get you know those roots growing up pretty strong then we'll decide where we're going to put them that's going to be the fun part <laughs> thank you for stopping by the big bear homestead god bless and have a nice day